So Jesus said that if you put your hand to the plow and you look back, you're not worthy of the kingdom of God. We've been talking about discipleship and how that's how the church wins. It's how we reach others. It's how we grow in our own faith and in our life. It's how we become more and more like Jesus. But all of that is really good. It's like me saying I'm going to run a marathon. But if I never start to practice and take short little steps toward that, I'm never going to run the marathon. And that's what our spiritual lives are like. You have to take the next step. That's what commitment is. It's about taking your life to the next level. It's about doing the thing God called and gifted and created you to do, and then doing the next thing he did. And the next thing, because God had a plan, not just for one day in your life, not just for one great moment, but for every moment you have life, every day you breathe air in this one and only life, because you only get one. Are you committed to doing what God has called you to do? Because that, that is discipleship. Discipleship is saying it's not about just finishing a card. Discipleship is about every day of my life, waking up and saying, okay, God, what's our plan for today? And when God says halfway through, you didn't quite get to this part, you say, okay, God, what are we doing right now? And at the end of the day, you say, okay, God, this part I got right and this part I didn't. Can you please fix that for me? Because you use all things for good to those who love God and are called according to your purpose. So could you fill in the part where I was broken and didn't get it right? Can you make it whole? And being committed means you're going to go to bed every night realizing your life was lived for God and where you failed and coming back to him. And you're going to wake every morning ready to do the next thing. You have been called to commitment. He says we are to offer ourselves as a living sacrifice. That means every moment of our life, we're not supposed to be thinking about what's in it for us, but be committed to his plan on earth. And that means sharing our faith. That means growing ourselves so that we have more to share. It means doing things that are hard, like climbing these stairs. But it also means you will have the most rewarding, abundant life. That's what Jesus called it. He said, if you love me, you're going to have life. If you follow me, you're going to have life and have it more abundantly. And isn't that what we all want, really? Is that abundant life? I'm hoping you will follow God with the commitment of everything in your soul, everything at the core of who you are, so that you will have the most abundant life you can possibly have and the most impact for the kingdom of God.